Hey guys, I hope you're well. Um, it's been an odd day, and I, I, I've done quite a few videos today, uh, and I think on every one of them I mentioned something about today. I'll tell you, it was, it was not a good day for me. Um, and it's my own fault. I mean, it's nobody's fault but mine. Um, but I will say that I, I actually had an accident that I did, didn't mean to. Of course, you ever mean to have accidents, but uh, anyway, um, so I... Uh, I would like to send something out to to Amber, who cuts my hair. Obviously, I didn't make it to my appointment today for various and sundry reasons. And then to the owner of the shop, uh, guys, I, I'm just mortified by myself on what happened. Um, nothing that uh, certainly can't be taken care of. Uh, and they're all saying they're not mad at me. I would be very mad at me. But uh, so what I'm going to do is. Um, as odd as this may sound, I just want to do this because they're very, very nice people, very sweet to me. And uh, so I'm going to do, this is uh, Hair from 1979, the song, Hair, and it's got the little snippet, about three minutes snippet from the movie. And then I'm going to do a cover of that, uh, but it's going to be a much newer kind of cover of that song. So guys, this goes out to you that it's a hair salon. Um, that they, they run and they do an amazing job and they let me come in there and they do such an amazing job on my hair. Um, but let me get this up there. Uh, I don't remember names. You still know the names of the people in this movie. Uh, I think Treat Williams is in this movie, the original movie uh, from 79. I think is what his name was, but nobody else. Um, I don't even know who did the song. It was a musical. It's a musical again. But anyway, here we go. This is Hair, the song Hair, from the movie or musical or whatever it was, Hair. Okay, here we go. sexual attraction towards men? You mean if I'm a homosexual or something like that? Or, yeah. Well, I wouldn't kick Mick Jagger out of my bed, but uh, I'm, I'm not a homosexual, no. Well, tell me. Can you tell me why you're so uptight about having your hair cut? She asked me why I'm just a hairy guy. <laughs> Sorry. I'm hairy noon and night. Hair, that's a fright. I'm hairy high and low. Don't ask me why. Don't know. It's not for lack of brain. Like the grateful day. I love the Grateful Dead, by the way. We get hair with hair, long, beautiful hair, shining, gleaming, steaming, flaxen, and waxing. Give me down to there, yeah. Shoulder length, a long run. Here, baby, there, mama. Everywhere, daddy, daddy, hair, 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 Show it, show it. Long as God can go with my hair. hair. Yes. Let it fly in the breeze and get caught in the trees. Give a whole. That's not tri Treat Williams. I don't, I don't know who that is, but uh, it's, it's recognizable to me. If you know who that is, let me know. To the fleas in my hair. A home for fleas, a high for the buzzing bees. And as for birds, there ain't no words for the beauty, the splendor, the wonder of my hair. Blow it, show it, long as I can blow it by. Long, straight, curly, fuzzy, snaggy, shaggy, ratty, matty, oily, greasy, fleecy, shining, gleaming, steaming, flaxing, waxing, cloudy, fluffy, dotty, twisted, faded, rainy, colored, flowered, and confetti, tangled, 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 and spaghetti. Oh, say, can you see my eyes? If you can, then my hair's too short. Down to here, down to fair, down to fair, down to where it stops by itself. Go, go, when they see me in my toga My toga made of blonde, brilliant, chain, biblical hair My hair like Jesus wore it, hallelujah I adore it, hallelujah Mary loves the sun, why don't my mother love me? 
So um, I'm going to get this off of here and move on to the next one very quickly. Uh, this Now, this next one is uh, doesn't have, uh, it's, it's from new Broadway cast recordings is what it says. It doesn't have video on it, uh, which is fine. It, there may be one out there that does, but I chose to do this one that does not. Um, let me say something real quick. Um, so I was raised by a military father. And I was born in 1962, which in 1970, when this came, would have made me eight years old. And at that time, the thing, the easiest thing for my dad to do, we had four boys, and uh, the easiest thing for him to do was climb a soul up. And I've said this on other videos, but I'll say it again. And he'd just take shears and he'd shear heads all the way down to the, to the skull, and you know, put a little divots in our head and stuff. And but you know, that's what he knew was in the military. And uh, so it, for us, it was like we were mortified. I, not until really until I got into junior high school, right? And and then all of a sudden it was like, you know, I went from, um, you know, not really caring, not giving a crap, and and, and my oldest brother did, and they, my he and my father fought a lot, but that was he was much older than me at the time. Um, anyway, regardless of all that, and then uh, so my father uh, finally relented, and and one time I guess I was probably and I, I'm kind of not ashamed to say this because. I was just so tired of getting ribbed about my hair and people would come up and rub me on the head and stuff and it, and it was, you know, later into the 70s and I was in junior high school, mid mid to later 70s and uh, and dad went to sh shave our heads and my brother, I had a twin brother, he's since passed away and we cried. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say that, I was probably 12, maybe 13 and I, I burst into tears. My father was not a man to be to reasoned with, really wasn't, but he took some p compassion on us, and, uh, and he said, okay, I'm not going to cut your hair uh, like I've been doing, but you're not going to grow it out, and it was a year later or less, my hair was like, <sighs> it was down there, and it stayed there, uh, I never, hardly ever got it cut, it had, probably had bugs and rats and stuff in it, but I did not care, and I had uh, uh, really long hair through about eighth grade until you know, later on, and then I started needing to get jobs, and I cut my hair cut and all that, and now it's, I'm getting all shaggy-faced again. I, I love my beard. I could not grow a beard probably till about 10 or 12 years ago, and so it's probably going to grow down to about here. And um, I told you, I think on this channel, when I retired, it was going to be hair and tattoos. I'm getting a tattoo right here tomorrow. I'll show you that. But anyway, guys, uh, this goes out to the ladies, and I can't think of the name of this song. I'm so sorry, but Amber... Uh, please, again, let the bosses and everybody else in there know that I'm so sorry that that happened. And anyway, it's not funny, but if I don't laugh about it, I'll be very upset. So, uh, all right, so this is the American Tribal Love Rock musical of uh, the new Broadway cast recording of Hair. So let's go ahead and get into this. Audio only. She asks me why. I'm just a hairy guy I'm hairy noon and night Hair, that's a fright I'm hairy high and low Don't ask me why Don't know It's not for lack of bread Like the, the grateful dead Darling, give me a head with hair, long, beautiful hair, shining, gleaming, steaming, flax and waxen. Give me it down to there, hair, shoulder length or longer. Here, baby, there, mama, everywhere, daddy, daddy, hair. For the beauty 
of blonde, brilliant teen, biblical hair. My hair like Jesus wore it. Hallelujah, I adore it. Hallelujah, Mary loved her son. Why don't my mother love me? Posted. Um, I will say that, um, of course, the, the the newer version was much easier to understand, um, just because it was recorded later. And um, you know, in the original in the 70s, it was recorded in 1970. I was eight years old, and um, you know, like I said, my father would shave our heads. And in in 70, they looked like that, and in uh, or from the other video. And in 1970, probably 76, by 14, 15, I looked like that. And I wore my hair that way all the way through. And what I was thinking about while I was listening to this, first of all, well, let me say this again. I am by no means making uh, light of what happened today. And ladies, I hope you don't hear that at all. I, I it mortified that I did that. And I'm again, very, very sorry. Um, and, and anybody that's watching the channel that knows me, uh, this is not anything untoward or sexual or anything like that i i made a mistake and and uh tore something up accidentally um anyway um i've lost my train of thought on what i was going to say about that uh but regardless of that ladies this goes out to you and this goes out to amber and amber i hope you get an opportunity to show it to to around to the people let them know how, how sorry i am but i think they all know because i was pretty devastated um hair man I, I love it i love the song i love the original uh in the 70s again i was a little maybe too really um young to really understand but uh it wasn't too long after that that i completely understood and when you know when he's uh, got up to get his hair shaved um and he's like no he's losing his mind we didn't do that because our father probably would have beat us to death um but in our minds we were doing that because we knew what was coming and I think if they shave my head now, they see the little divots that presence that he left. <laughs> Such a fool. Uh, I love you. Listen, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Thank you for watching. If you uh, if you like this video, please hit like. Um, if you uh, have not already subscribed to the channel, I know a lot of ladies have not. Uh, go and check some of what I do on this channel. It's called Another Cover Lover, and I take a song that either you suggest. Or that I think of, and then I find a cover to it. Or sometimes you'll even send me covers, and I'll find the original and compare the two. And so I take a, a song, and I take a cover, and I compare the two. Um, and that's the whole reason for this channel. It's been up about seven months. So please send in your suggestions. And uh, man, again, thank you so much. And we will see you next time around.